Welcome to Dots and Arms Co. FN P90 short barrel rifle, 5.7 millimeter. Today we're going to be using this American Eagle, 5.7 by 28 millimeter, 40 grain full metal jacket ammunition. What I did is decided to use this American Eagle ammunition because it's the most available in our area. We don't see as much FN ammunition. And since this is full metal jacket, we'll test the concrete penetration of this round using the FNP90. This is a short barrel rifle, so it has the same length barrel as the automatic version. The 5.7 millimeter cartridge is more of a pistol round than it is an assault rifle round. This weapon functions more as a personal defense weapon in the submachine gun class. What we'll do is fire two single shots and then we'll fire a 50 round composite. The FN magazines are kind of unconventional. They have a rotating feed position. The full capacity ones hold 50 rounds of ammunition and they lock into the top of the gun like this. So that makes for a pretty handy self-defense weapon. What we did is went ahead and tested this weapon and ammunition because we couldn't find any concrete penetration data anywhere on the internet or any of the written material for this cartridge. And we wanted to see if the performance was more like a handgun round like the 9mm or the 5.56mm. We'll give you a close up. Here you can see the 5.7mm magazine with the 50 round capacity. It has the rotating head here. When you load the rounds, they go in. The next one turns. See how the round turns? So it rotates into the magazine and that way they lie this away on the gun. Gives you a very compact weapon. This is our FN P90 short barrel rifle. It loads very easily. This is an unloaded magazine. It slips in like this. Goes right down into the gun and your rounds actually lay like this in the magazine. So we'll get started with shot number one. Shot number one, very little penetration, approximately half an inch into the block. We'll fire a second shot. Second shot exhibited less than half inch of penetration. What we'll do is go ahead and fire three more rounds to get a five round composite. The five shot composite target, the rounds were grouped pretty tight. That's about a three inch circle. The penetration didn't go much further. It was about a half an inch total for the five shots. What we'll do now is change out the first stone and we'll fire a full magazine 50 rounds to see if it'll actually eat through the concrete and reduce it.
We'll take a look at the 50 shot uh, test here. We had one jam. It was a bad round. So I actually hit it with 49 rounds. I'll go ahead and pull the blocks off so you can take a look at what the damage is and we'll see what the final penetration is. Penetration of the 49 round composite was five and three quarters inches depth. We'll go ahead and pull the blocks off now. That concludes the firing of the FN P90 short barrel rifle. What we found is the 5.7 millimeter ammo does act more like a handgun round. In single shots, we only got about a half inch of penetration to three eighths of an inch of penetration. On the composite 50 rounds, we had one round that was bad, so we ejected that and continued firing. We ended up firing 49 rounds and we got 4.75 inches of penetration, which was kind of surprising. We weren't expecting to get almost five inches of penetration with a full magazine. The, uh, we really do like this gun and round. It functions real well as a self-defense weapon. This is a proprietary cartridge and the dimensions of the brass are different than head size of the 222, 223 Remington series. So you can't make this ammunition from that brass. That's one thing to keep in mind on it, from ammunition availability. This is a proprietary round. Please rate, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.